everyone, welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. If you're new here, hi. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, we haven't done one of these for a very long time. We're going to do a quick colour and chat. I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, not long. I don't imagine it's getting late, so I want to go to bed soon. But I thought I'd come on because we haven't done for a while, for a while and I've missed my colouring. I don't get to colour as much as I used to, and I'll get into that when we start actually colouring. We're going to be colouring in Jade Summers. Flower Girls. Um, I'm trying to colour in most of the, at least one picture from as many of the books as I can. Um, it's very difficult because I don't really get to colour very often. So we're going to be colouring this one. I think she's really pretty. She's got orchids in her hair and we're going to colour her. So I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit and then I can talk to you, which will be nice. I'm just going to have a look for Whichever pencil, it would be this one, the short one, wouldn't it? I would start with, which is light peach, I think. I don't know anymore. It's been so long. What's this one? Yeah, we'll start with light peach. So I'm just going to give it a quick sharpen. It's pretty sharpened. I'm going to need to order one of these soon. Now, you know me, I don't do a lot of shades in. I am pretty much, I just colour and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do this one for the next few videos. I'm um, going to try and film one every Saturday now, once Paul and Jennifer's gone to bed, because that's the best time for me to actually film anything. I can film upstairs in the spare room, where I keep all my eBay inventory um, and my book collection. Uh, but there's not a lot of space up there so I can't film colouring videos and the light in the bedroom is not very good so I'd have to move my light and to be honest I just can't be bothered that's too much like hard work so for these colour videos they're going to have to be done for the time being while Paul and Jennifer are in bed so yes that's part of why I don't get to colour very often um, because, well, if I'm colouring and Jennifer's around, she wants to grab the pencils and scribble, which is fair enough, she's nearly two. She sees mummy doing something and she wants to have a go as well. Um, but I don't want her actually uh, scribbling in my books. I don't mind getting some paper for her or one of the books I've got for her for when she's older and she can scribble in that. And she's even scribbled on the cover of one of my Colour in Heaven magazines and I don't care. Um, but when I'm working on a picture I don't want to try and scribble on it. So it's best if I do it when she's in bed. I usually do it when she's in bed when I'm at her on the sofa uh, watching TV with Paul. But... Uh, Another reason I don't get time to do it in the day is that obviously I am at work again now. It was a lot easier when I was on my maternity leave, especially when she was a lot younger and sleeping all the time. But uh, yeah, now she's uh, a lot older, she's too into everything. But uh, obviously, so I work like four and a half hours a day, so I'm out about five to five and a half hours. When I'm home, obviously, I'm playing with Jennifer, doing some housework, or I'm working on my eBay business. So those of you who do watch know I do buy and sell second-hand goods, clothing, from boot sales, charity shops, jumble sales on eBay. Sometimes for a good profit, sometimes for a not-so-good profit, sometimes at a loss. It's a bit of extra money. I'm registered with HMRC, I declare everything I earn to them, so it's all done dusted. I save, at the moment, most of the money that I actually make in profit. I don't spend it, but that does mean that I, it frees up my, my normal salary. Sorry, you haven't been watching the thing I've been doing, because I've been down here and it's been up there. One thing, so for instance, I ordered six colouring books today. 
Um, for a grand total, I think it was about £37. So they on average just work out it was about £6 each, which isn't too bad. Some of them were a bit more expensive than others. I will do a haul at some point. I don't know when. I don't know when. I don't. But I will I will do a haul, obviously, when I've got enough. But six and one episode, one issue of Car in Heaven, I don't think is enough. So yeah, it's very hard. I do want to get a different filming camera because this is my big DSLR. It's my best camera. It's my main photo camera. Not that I get to do a lot of photography these days. I wonder why. But um, yeah, I want a, a smaller compact camera that I can just put in a pocket that will fit in my handbag. So I'm going to do some research into that and then yeah, I'll see what people recommend. I'll have a, I haven't really looked into it yet because I haven't got the money. But, you know, I think I'm looking at about £500. And then I'll get a small tabletop. Well, I have got a tabletop tripod, but it's really, you know, a bit too small. I don't know. I need to figure out a way of getting a better angle on this for you guys but so yeah and also so when I'm doing my weekly vlog it's not filling up my phone and I'm not trying to think oh my god I've got to get rid of all these pictures of Jennifer and move them off and put them somewhere else and So it's been, the weather here's been really good lately. I mean, it's starting to change now, it's starting to cool down. And to be honest, I'm glad about that. I'm not brilliant in the heat. I do tend to come out in a heat rash. Um, it doesn't mean to say I haven't enjoyed the summer. I've had a lovely summer, but with our holiday, we went to Tenby in West Wales to a place called Kiln Park, which is a Haven Holiday Park, which is like static caravans. It was really nice. Um, we had lots of fun in the pool and on the beach. We went to Swansfoot, we went to Carry Boot Sale. You, if you watch that vlog, you know I bought a load of cameras there and sold them. I think I've got four or five left. I haven't got many. I've got 12 for 30 quid. I have made over 100 on them. We didn't a huge amount, but for me that's really good, and that's the sort of thing I want to be doing. I want to be doing more um, cameras, I think. I like doing the cameras. But it's getting them. So here we are so far. Let's just zoom it out a bit. We're just doing her face at the moment. This is the only time I do do a bit of blending is I do try and make the skin look better. I'm not very good at it though. And I get bored just going over the same bit over and over again. I'm not going to lie, I do. Let's put a bit there. Um, this one. Uh, so that's it really. Um... very hard to try and run a business, look after a baby, work and make videos. I've got a lot of videos I need to make. I need to do one, the review of Michelle Morgan's book, The Little Book of Marilyn, which is a lovely and absolutely lovely book. Oops, the camera just went down, does that, never mind. Uh, this tripod's not the best. I've got to do that. I want to try and do that this week. So I might try and get um, the book out and get some notes done on it. Just because the way the book is laid, laid out, I just want to do a chapter by chapter 
bit about it. I've got videos to make for the vinyl vlog channel, the other one. Hopefully me and Paul will be going out soon. We've both got just over a week off in October. We were going to go to Tenerife. We haven't booked anything because Paul broke his ankle. But we may be able to now. Because he is now better. And he's got his cast off. So he's got his cast off. He hasn't got a walking boot on. He is walking normally. He's very sore. We went, like I said, we went out to Newport today. If you watch the weekly vlog, you'll see this tomorrow. Um, just really to see how he would get on. And he was okay. We didn't go very far. We went in a couple of shops. I bought some tops from Next because I had a voucher. I don't normally. Um, buy full price clothes. As you know, because I tend to. Is that the one I want? I'm just having a look for a particular colour. Yes, it is. Uh, I tend to get my clothes now second hand from the place I get some of my, my stock from. And yeah, but I had some vouchers for my birthday, so I have been using them. So I used them and got two tops. We went and had some lunch in Nando's, which was nice. And we came home. Now Jennifer has stopped sleeping completely in the afternoon. So whereas before, she would go to sleep for a couple of hours this week. Well, the last couple of days, she just hasn't done it. And it's like, oh, it's hard work for me and Paul because we're both shattered. <laughs> Let's say when we got back, we were both exhausted. But she would not go to sleep. She just wanted to play. So we bought her a doll and she chose it herself. I said, I said to her, which one do you want? She pointed at the one she wanted. I got it down, I got two loaves down, lined them all up, mixed them up. So which one do you want? She pointed at the same one. So that's the one we got. We get back home with it, get it out, and she's freaked out by it. She does not want to know. It's a little baby doll. And put it on Daddy you know holding it like you would a baby and she got jealous as heck she was not a happy Jennifer she playing with it now but to start with she was a bit hang on a minute why is that baby on my daddy he's my daddy it was quite funny actually you know it's, it's actually nice to be able to sit here and colour without any interruptions from anybody. Do you know what? It really is nice. There's no no baby crying. She's absolutely asleep. Of course, if she cried, I'd go up and source her out. But she is asleep. Obviously I'll go and check on her in a bit when I go up, but uh, for now it's nice to have some colour in time. Oh, I like this. This is such a nice picture. I like this. I can't be honest, I like the Jade Summer books. I don't like them all. There are two in the ones that in, in the order I've put from Amazon, so out of the six, two of them are Jade Summer. So you'll be seeing them but I am collecting them I'm not big on the really cutesy girls like the face the big eyes like this but these ones are quite nice and chibi girls they're all right it's not my sort of thing I I get why people like them totally get it I do but they're just not for me okay oh let me introduce this one pomegranate it's a little red for her lips now to make her eyes look real you just put a little red dot in the corner. Like 
because we all have a little red dot in our eyes. We do. So yeah, Paul's all right now, which is great. It's nice to see him walking around without his crutches, without the cast on. He is limping a bit and he is struggling at times. But he is doing so well. Um, you know, he's, it's so nice to see him up and about properly again and him getting out to get some fresh air. So I started, the reason I started doing eBay, I'm sure people have wondered, is I wanted something to do. And the idea is that when Jennifer goes to school, proper school, not nursery, because um, when she's three and a half, she can go to the local primary, the local infant, infants and primary school. And the idea is that I can stop work, prop, my, my proper job, and then be there for her walk her to school, pick her up from school, but still have money coming in. Now, ideally, I need to try and equal. They look nice, don't they? What I am earning working part-time. I have quite a good job. I have quite a well-paid job, to be honest, for the area. Um, so it will take a while for me to get it up. It's getting there slowly. Every month it's going up. Slightly. Every month my profit is increasing, so it is doable. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I like her lips. I like her lips. So she has got orchids, or oh, lilies rather, not orchids, in her hair up here. That's a big lily. I'm just going to get the colours. I've got more colours if I want them. I can go and get. This is the. I'm going to try and keep them out of Jennifer's way because she keeps stealing them. She tries to play with them and I don't want her playing with them because some of these expense pencils are quite expensive. So, for instance, I've got the Derwent Colour Softs down here because I was using them on something and. To be fair, she has lost one. There's one missing. So I'm going to have to go searching for it. So I'm going to do this as an orange lily. Only because... Um, is it lily? Yeah, lilies. No, I'm not really with it today because my dad's had these this colour lily. Um, and I've uh, taken photographs of them. He's also had pink ones actually, so. But there you go. I might go and get the orange out of the colour soft in a minute. I'll have to stop the camera for that though. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy my job most of the time. Everything like every job, people are gonna either like it or not and you're gonna have days when you hate it and then you're gonna have days when it's brilliant and it's the best thing in the world um it's not a bad job I've had a lot worse jobs than working where I work now and I think the company are really good the company are very good to us so but I I want to be there for her I want to be able to walk her to school and I want to be able to pick her up from school and bring her home and play with her and I don't want to have the whole I'm shattered from working all day and irritable from talking to people 
on the phones who for the most part are brilliant but of course you like in any job you do get the odd one that's a uh, can be a bit of a pain so I don't want that I want to be completely fresh for her so doing the eBay thing I can work most of the day on my own and I quite like being on my own in the mornings I'll drop her off do the post either do the post first thing before I get her up and take her down or do it when I get back and just nip down to post office it's only like a five minute walk then come back and then focus on a couple hours of say photographing or listing and then the afternoon before I pick her up housework so I Spent Friday I had off, Jennifer went to nursery, I had it off to photograph as much as I could. I didn't do as much as I can do, I can get a lot more done but my back was aching and I just couldn't be bothered. I photographed 36 items, so now I just got them listed. So that's my job to start doing it. I mean, I will start getting the stuff ready for drafting tomorrow but I'm actually having the weekend mostly off of eBay. Not because I don't enjoy it, because I really do, but you've got to have time for other things, like my colouring, which I'm actually really enjoying today. So. So yeah, so today I'm having a bit of a day off of eBay and tomorrow I will just do the beginnings of drafts for five to ten of those 36 items and then I'll uh, carry on with them. I also hope to start doing photographing every other day so and it'll be Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays because Tuesdays and Thursdays are my posting days and I go to my mum's house so for lunch and to see my mum and dad and check on them, make sure they're alright which they are, I speak to them every day, I speak to my mum every day anyway so I know that they're alright but it's still nice to go and see them and they like to see Jennifer and so I do that on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then on the rest of the week Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I just come straight home so it's a better day for photographing. Even if I, I'm going to just try and do, come home, have some lunch, see if Jennifer will go down for a nap and then photograph 10. Pick 10 items out and photograph them. If you see the, the, the weekly vlog you'll know how I organise my stuff to photograph when I've got a lot like I have at the moment. It's one of the reasons I've not been majorly sourcing, I mean I haven't been able to go to, well I have been able to go to town, I just haven't because I didn't want to leave Paul on his own all day on a Saturday while I went out wandering around town when he couldn't make him feel worse. It's depressing being stuck in the house when you want to get out, you know. So I didn't really want to leave him on his own. So we um yeah I haven't been going to some of my normal sourcing locations I've just been I've been going to the main one obviously because where I get a fair bit of stock from and I get it cheap as well so we're talking anything from 33 to 50p for most items occasionally a pound very rare that there's anything more than a pound um, for instance the other week I bought four lipsy dresses for a pound each I got two Ted Baker tops for 50p each do you know what I mean so it's just one of those great places and then another time you can't there's nothing there's it's all Primark or supermarkets um, they do have a lot of Marks and Spencers and I do tend to pick up that if it's something nice even if I only get eight quid or five or eight quid for it it's a profit on 50p and I think having some of those lower priced items has helped 
my sales go up a bit. I've also got it all on, not all of it, but a lot of it on promoted listings. And I've, I'm finding on promoted listings, people aren't making stupid offers. They're just buying the item, which is great. Whereas before, I, I get the odd offer that was rubbish. On promoted items, I seem to be getting the asking price a lot. Even if some people do want to send it back, saying there's something wrong with it, or it's the wrong size and it's not, but there you go. We're not going to go into that today. We're over it. Well, we're not over it, but it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So there's part of my lily. It's looking good. Where's the first colour I used? Was it this one? I think it was this one. We're just going to use that colour to blend it in a bit. Like that. So just doing her face and the lily has taken us 26 minutes. So, I know. I'm just going to finish this lily off a little bit. Like I said, I might put a bit more orange on it around the outside from... If I can find a nice bright orange in my colour soft ones, I think there is. There's bright oranges here, but it's not the right orange. I will bring them over. It is literally just to go around the edge and the middle. That's why I'm just shading over it slightly. Here we are. So next time we will have our colour softs as well. I'll have my colour softs with us. And we'll do a bit more now. These bits tend to be white or cream. That is all I'm going to do for tonight because we've been going nearly half an hour. And that's how she's looking. She's looking pretty good. I'm enjoying it. So, um, yeah, so this is part one. I'm going to follow through and we'll do colour and chat on all this one. And we'll continue this one next Sunday, Saturday, even Saturday to Sunday. See, I don't even know what day it is. It's terrible. We will continue this next Saturday. Um, and like I said, I might I might finish the lily off camera if I can remember to. But if not, I'll bring the colour sauce over and we'll use those as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick colour and chat. Well, colour is half an hour. <laughs> um, if you've liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. I do appreciate every single one of you out there and hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, you know. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Bye.